The Supreme Court on Tuesday granted bail to Kochi actress assault case prime accused Pulsa Suni, who has been in judicial custody and facing trial for the past seven and a half years. Special Public Prosecutor Advocate Ajay Kumar said that Pulsa Suni will have to file a special application in the Ernakulam Principal Sessions Court for bail. The government will argue for strict bail conditions. Though the trial is getting prolonged, the examination of witnesses got completed and these factors helped Suni get bail. Suni is currently lodged in Ernakulam Sub Jail. The Sessions Court's verdict in the case will be delivered within three months. The examination of witnesses and arguments were completed before Judge Hani M. Varghese. The defense has an opportunity to make a final argument from the 26th of this month. There are 10 accused in the actress assault case. Up to 8 accused have been charged with gang rape, which carries a life sentence. Conspiracy has been charged against others. There are 261 witnesses, 1,600 documents related to the case were handed over to the court. On February 17, 2017, the actress was attacked while she was on her way to a location in Ernagulam from Trishur. Suni and his gang got into the actress's vehicle by creating a fake car accident. Martin, the driver who was assigned to pick up the actress, also joined the attackers. They roamed around with the actress for about two hours in Kochi area and she was brutally assaulted. The footage was captured on a mobile phone. Eventually, they dropped her at noted Malayalam actor-director Lars residence and left. The accused were trapped after the actress boldly went ahead with the case. When Suni came to surrender before the court in Ernakulam, the police dramatically caught him. When Suni rushed to the court hall, he was overpowered by Inspector Anantalal and his team. It was only weeks after that incident that the police got a tip of about actor Dilip's alleged role in the quotation. Dilip was arrested on July 10, 2017. He was granted bail after spending 86 days in jail. The trial was delayed due to the demand for a woman judge in the case in which the charge sheet was filed in November 2017. The trial began on January 30th, 2020. Director Balachandra Kumar came with a revelation when the witness examination was about to be completed. With this, a re-investigation has started. A second charge sheet was filed and the trial had to be conducted again. The four and a half year long witness examination was completed last week. News Desk, Global.